So restorative justice is a process whereby victims or those people that have been harmed come into communication uh, with the offender or that person that's caused the harm. It's an opportunity for victims to meet and to ask questions about what's happened, to understand um, why something's happened, what's led up to, you know, what's, what's happened, and, and most importantly to talk about the impact and the harm that's been caused. The police and crime plan which I'm responsible for setting, it's really important to ensure uh, that the right priorities are within that plan and restorative justice is just one of those that is encompassed within the plan. So making sure that all victims are offered um, the access to a restorative uh, justice service uh, is important. Re restorative solutions were uh, the people that were commissioned to deliver this contract in 2018. Um, we know it isn't right for every victim but making sure through the Victims Code that they are made aware that this service is available at a time that is suitable and convenient to them in helping to uh, address whatever the, um, the, the issues are for them as a victim of crime. Restorative justice is, is really important for a number of reasons. Uh, firstly, it's the right thing to do by our victims of crime and we need to provide that service to them. It's also a requirement under the Victims Code that it has to be offered to all victims of crime and that includes all crime types, whether it be domestic, hate crimes and, and the whole range from, from less serious to the most serious of all offences. Uh, and obviously the relevant safeguards around each individual case are put in place, so it's very important that we offer that to everybody. Um, I've personally seen the benefits that restorative justice has offered to individuals, victims of crime, that it has helped them in, in a wide number of ways and I'm really pleased to say that we can offer that here in West Yorkshire. We can take referrals from victims, we can take referrals from offenders, we can take referrals from organisations that work with victims or offenders. Uh, victims and offenders can self-refer, the offence doesn't need to have been reported to the police, so we can take unreported crimes as well as crimes that are reported. We also take referrals from organisations like Victim Support, the Probation Service, uh, the Prison, anywhere that works with victims and offenders. And what's really important for us is about raising the awareness of restorative justice so victims can access restorative justice at a time that's right for them. So the expectations of officers and staff is that they do comply with the Victims Code and part of that is speaking to the victim on a regular basis and updating them as to what's going on with their crime. But also part of that is having that discussion about whether restorative justice is the right thing to do. And if any of the officers either haven't had the training or still don't feel confident in approaching that conversation, then there is plenty of information on the internet that they can link into or speak to the RJ lead within criminal justice to improve their knowledge around this issue. I think in terms of messages, I mean, again, it comes back to making sure that all victims are aware that this service is available um, and, and if it is right for them to, to take that up. And that's why having the, the contract in place really important to ensure that it's done in a professional and thorough way. But then uh, for police officers uh, to really also be aware that this service is there for referrals to be made into uh, when they are talking to victims and making sure we can offer that wider wraparound service through restorative justice that can make a big difference in, in, in some cases for victims and indeed offenders.